come into my chat and ask me why did you do my hair like this? Um, why did you do like your hair like this? That's the only <laughs> thing they would ask, and that would drag me down. Dude, seriously, like I appreciate you taking a minute from on the blacks and the leftoids, but it's still sad, Lamal. That's the coat ball. That's the coat so, ball. Yeah, I undid like the front because it was a funny narrative that you were getting in with the blacks. So why did you shave your head on street? Well, I'm not confused why Chud doesn't care about people. Okay. I'm ableist and disgusting. What now? I think that's really cringe and really, really sad. Like, obviously, this makes her look way, way, way worse. She looks horrendous, first of all. Did she, Katie, and Sunday get you the piss out of weight for not being able to list this? That reminds me. The fight. Okay, this is the final thing I'll look at. I need to get up early tomorrow as well, so I can't. I don't mind doing a little bit extra, but I'll be cautious. Thanks, Spicy. That's sweet. I honestly just got tired of people asking me why did I have my hair like that. I found it really invasive, so it made me very unhappy. Um, okay. Fuck, I forgot to... I Well, there's not really much to say about this. It's just some nutter cutting their hair. I don't know why it is to bring a comment. But, uh, yeah, it is. Oh, can I just go clip to clip like this? Here we go. I, this, if you're just cutting a hair. Britney Spears moment. Race conscious Britney Spears moment. Is that what this is? Is that what it is? is, is she got crit. Did she, is, did she mean spicy chat? Is that what she's referring to? A spicy chat winding her up or something? <laughs> what the fuck is this? A spicy chat crazy making. It's just extensions, is it? This is very weird, isn't it? Very, very odd, very odd stream content, but you know. By the way, it was Occam's. What? It was Occam. What? What? Occam's made this happen. How? He told us she was doing cultural appropriation. Now, this is a real hair. That's a real hair she's cutting off there. That's a real hair. From black presenting to skip... I don't want to have to undo the dreads. I was kind of hoping this will bypass it. I don't know, man. This is kind of nuts. Where's Occam's? Occam's, are you even there? What have you been up to? I will do a bit. Maybe I will one day. I can't mod him at the moment. He's responsible for this one um, thing that's happening now. Whatever that may be. Okay, is it just her cutting her hair? I want to get to the real... This is like real, look.
It just gets worse. I mean, it looks bad, but if you play it backwards, it's a mentally ill woman <laughs> giving herself culturally appropriate, respectful black dreadlocks. So there's always that you could do if you wanted. What's the reason? So um, I'm going to actually say this out loud because this is pretty disgusting. Phoenix, I'm literally not talking about you. People would come into my chat and ask me, why did you do my hair like this? Um, why did you do like your hair like this? That's the only thing they would ask. And that would drag me down because I'm really bothered that when men think that I'm prettier a different way, they question why I do my hair a certain way. So people will ask, why did you shave your head? But if I just had done a different haircut, no one would ask, oh, why did you dye your hair pink? Or why did you dye? I've got to be honest with you. This is such cope. Guys, listen, <laughs> streamers out there. Okay. Just ignore chat. Chat always going to try and say some shit. Like, I don't know. I get shit from chat all the time. Ban them or something? I don't know, man. Um, What is this? Endless, look at Endless Cemetery. <laughs> For once in my entire time online, I actually agree with Endless Cemetery on something, okay? Dog, what is happening, Lamau? And then, meow, meow. Meow, meow. How, look, okay, I've just, I'm second guessing myself now because Smeth has been a little fucker earlier going, oh, you're always having a go. You're always having a go, aren't you? You're always having a go at people's viewership. I'm not meaning to have a go at viewership just for the hell of it in this case. It's a very simple point that I'm trying to make, okay? The point being, if you cannot handle the level of shit you're getting or whatever viewership she's on now, you might as well just end, end it now. If your mental state is so predisposed to what chat is saying at fucking 20 or 30 viewers or whatever the fuck it is, imagine having 75. Imagine having 150 even. And end your you no 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 end your streaming thing, not life. I do not support suicide. I don't know, man. I, that is honestly like she's got. This is not normal. Okay. Whilst I can't control you, little fuckers, I'm gonna shake my head at what everything you've done. Anyone that did this, I believe Occam's Razor is probably the most culpable because I'm pretty certain that I've seen them in chat say shit like that. Are your hair blonde? They wouldn't ask that. So when people ask you, why did you do like hair, your hair like that? It's not about the dreads. It's about the fact that I did a hairstyle that is not conventionally attractive on women that look like me or women in general. No. And no, that was no, really no, bothering no. me. It's because in the midst, the reason that people were talking about it is because in the midst of this weird black arc that was happening, all you know, in the smaller streamer ecosphere, right? You suddenly decided to hardcore side with the blacks and then you got your hair cut like them. <laughs> you got a hairstyle that was black in like, you know, formation. Like, yeah, obviously people are thinking about what the fuck, that seems like a crazy thing to do. And now, because some people in chat have given you shit for it, you've shaved it off. That is like... I mean, at this point, I'm like, okay, I don't think I should go with this person ever again. They clearly have got mental issues. 
It's not fucking about you, about oppression, about the braids, about anything. Please stop. It's so fucking sad. Has nothing fucking to do with what you're talking about. As I said, if you and the other guy were the only two people that have argued with me about my dreads, I literally would not have taken off my dreads. It's not fucking about you or the arguments that we had. It's about my fucking life and how I'm being treated. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. It's one of those things you just got to watch and go, yeah, that's fucking insane. And just kind of move on from what are you supposed to say? Someone was getting a bit of shit in chat about having dreads and they decided to shave their hair off. Yeah, that's just nuts. Keep saying nuts. I don't know where I've got that from. Nuts. It's nuts, man. It's nuts. Yeah, is it mental illness or just leftoidism? That's the question. Oh my God, Katie's just uploaded a video about me. <laughs> Let's go. Perfect, perfect, perfect length of time to watch as well. When narratives are dumb and when women have short hair featuring Chud Logic. <laughs> so, okay, I need to set this up a little bit for you, okay? Basically... Katie recently cut her hair on stream and I watched it at the tail end of yesterday's stream because I thought it was funny and insane, okay? Then this morning when I woke up, I saw that Katie had tweeted about it, okay? And said, just watched Chud Logic having a weak day at work, being racist and a toxic person. So to make up a bunch of weird shit about me getting a haircut, Dude, seriously, like, I appreciate you taking a minute from shitting on the blacks and the leftoids, but it's still sad, Lamau. And then I replied with this, this video. <laughs> I replied with this video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and then also... I... <laughs> I did, I did that. I did that. And then she's obviously got upset with all this business. <laughs> and so she has released this video now <laughs> titled When Narratives Are Dumb and When Women Have Short Hair Featuring Chud Logic. So there we go. You're all up to date. It's a very simple story. Let's see what this is about. So... Uh, the structure is going to be talking about drama, then talking about mental health and illness, and then talking about misogyny and short-haired women. Yes, let's go! So, drama-wise, uh, yeah. Um, I wanted to get dreads since I was 17. I got dreads, everyone was super nice about it, complimented me. Uh, except for Destiny that laughed and Sansol that clipped me with my gum outside of my mouth in an ugly, in an ugly like picture. Everyone was super friendly about it. So I didn't get any negative reactions. In fact, everyone were like super sweet and supportive. Okay, that is such cope, okay? I'm sure that your little shitty viewer base, okay? Oh, fuck, I need to stop doing that. Fuck. Okay, she's a lovely fledgling streamer that is going to go far, I mean, sorry, okay? I'm sure all of the viewers that you get as a fledgling streamer that's going to go really far if you keep trying, okay? Um, I'm sure they liked it, but every other single angle that I saw, which was partly from my community, every single other angle was people mocking her for the dreads, okay? There's no two ways about it. Um, but I personally was like, okay, I'm glad I tried this out, but it's not necessarily my aesthetic. Um. So yeah, obviously the most normal thing to do is to just cut all your hair off on stream. That is exactly what you would expect someone to do. If you looked at someone, right, and they were like, oh, I've got these dreads, but I don't really like them. What do you reckon? Yeah, well, what do you want to do about it? I think tomorrow I'm going to go live on Twitch and cut them all off. Yeah, that sounds like a totally normal thing to do. I'd do that if I was you. Yes. <laughs> Let's not go into that discussion right now. If you know, you know. Um, 
my plan was to keep the dreads for two months because they were fake synthetic dreads that were meant to last up to two months. Um, the dreads were like $170, so that's a lot of money for me. So I wanted to get the most out of it. Anyway, then I decided that for my 2K followers on Twitch, I'm going to have a costume for them that was a blue theme. Anyway, I got really excited about the costume. And then oh, one God. day I decided that I, fuck it, I don't want to wait until 2K because that might take another month. And I'm not super feeling the dreads, so I might just take them off. This is the stream where I did the costume. As you can see at the beginning of the front of my face, um, it's I undid a lot of my dreads because I can just undo them and keep my natural hair. That's the coat ball! That's the coat so, ball! Yeah, I undid like the front where I could and I needed my mom to oh help me God. with the back. So I decided no to do the front because I needed brilliant. to put um, fox ears on for my costume and then decided that my mom's going to do my back in the next day. Now, in terms of another reason why I decided to get rid of the dreads early was because a lot of people asked me, why did you do like your hair like this? And they didn't ask me that out of a like cultural appropriation or what's wrong with you white woman for doing dreads. The only two people who talked to me like that were two chatters who were in my chat the night that I got my shaved head. But before that, I didn't get any comments. The only people who gave a fuck about my dreads were mostly liberals and like pathetic people who thought that somehow negates my arguments. Um, so yeah. I'll be honest with you. I think most people just thought it was really funny to wind you up about it. I don't think anyone really truly cared about the quality of the arguments. And the just people just thought it was funny to take the piss out of you having dreads because it was a funny narrative that you were getting in with the blacks. And then all of a sudden you were imitating their hairstyle. That happened. Um, but my, my hype about the dreads was already gone because a lot of people, and we'll get to it in part three about misogyny, it's very, very common to ask women about their hair, especially when you find their hair unattractive. Mm. And I found it really annoying. It was happening in chat, but also Chud might find this surprising. But I do actually live outside of the computer, so I do have experiences outside of Twitch. Hmm. So, yeah. Wait a second, Does she, hang on a minute. Doesn't she live in Israel? Am I getting that right? Doesn't she uh, live in Israel? Hmm. Really makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what the fuck was that? Twitch. So I do have experiences outside of Twitch. So yeah. Okay. Right. Anyway. So why did you shave your head on stream? And it's like, okay. I've been talking about shaving my head for months. I've Okay. What is this like weird thing where she's going to try and act like cutting off all of your hair on stream is just a normal activity that you would like you would you would tune into Twitch and there'd probably be at least, you know, 100 women just cutting their hair to a, you know, nearly bald head on stream. Like, nah, this ain't normal. What do you, like, this is like completely abnormal. I don't think I've ever heard of someone just cutting off all of their hair on stream before. Said I'm going to get dreads after my sister's wedding. And now I'm going to go bald because I've already been bald before and like I wanted to do it again. And so, yeah, once I was done with the dreads, I was going to go bald. Then that night when I was, um, it was the night I did the costume and the night with the wig panel. Uh, so I was arguing with people in chat and I was undoing my dreads as I was talking to them and getting kind of spicy about the whole cultural appropriation conversation, which is fine whatever 
Um, then I realized that doing the back of my hair with the dreads was like really exhausting, exhausting and pointless. And I didn't want to wait for my mom. And I was like, I'm going to shave my head anyway, or I'm going to chicken out if I don't shave it off like right now when I still have like some guts in me. So I went and got the, um, the shaving machine thingy majiggy and start shaving my head. And then the annoying thing happened where apparently the machine I was using wasn't cutting off the dreads. So I had to cut off the dreads and then like undo them and then do the shaving. So basically it caught me no time, but I got this hair, which is fine. It just didn't cut any time. Okay. That's the drama. Moving on. Um... I want to talk about mental illness. So even if none of this was true, and um, I think is well, yeah. My guess is she's going insane. This is not like a normal thing to do. Like she's probably nuts, right? A person like had a mental breakdown on stream or something like that, like a Britney moment or whatever the fuck. Um, I guess I'm confused why. Well, I'm not confused why Chud doesn't care about people. And I guess I'm No. What like why should I? I care about my family and people that I like and I know. Why the fuck should I care about you? You're just some fucking loser Twitch wannabe. Like why the fuck would I give a shit about you? No longer confused why Zonia wouldn't care. But like I guess for other people. Yes, Mabs. Um I think some people at Twitch poll decided that people who have mental struggles or mental illness are not allowed to like participate in society, Twitch poll being part of society. No, 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 no. Wait, hang on a minute. You got that all wrong. I think if you've got mental health struggles, I think you should participate more. I think you should participate a lot. I think you should do as many streams as you possibly can if you've got mental health struggles, okay? And let me know when you're doing it and send me the links to your VODs. Uh, that'll be very, yeah, I want to see that happening. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm very supportive of that, all right? Um, and I think that's really ableist and like really disgusting. Okay. I'm ableist and disgusting. What now? Yes, correct. Guilty as charged. Yes. I am ableist and I am disgusting. That is right. What now? Like, I just, these fucking words are so meaningless to me now. I just don't care anymore. Like, call me wherever the fuck you want. Um, I'm a really strong believer in, like, agency. And most people who are mentally ill or have mental struggles uh, are not in a conservator conservatorship kind of spot. Nor should they be. So, like, to give really weird advice, like, oh, you're mentally ill, you shouldn't be doing this or that or the other, when you know nothing about a person's mental illness or mental struggles, when you know nothing about their disorder, you don't know what they're do doing or anything like that. Yeah, it's just pretty disgusting. Um, I also think that since we're all on Twitch, you can kind of understand that like the majority of people on Twitch have some issues. Um, She's really lost her mind. This is unethical. Good. Okay. Because guess what? The lack of ethics just adds to the flavor of the content, okay? I will make a fucking billion videos on a mentally ill woman if it makes me some money, okay? Why should I care? I don't fucking care, do I? Some, listen, I've, this person saying they've got agency, good, good. But I wouldn't care if you did or didn't. It's still funny. Anyway, speaking of money, speaking of ethics, don't forget, guys, support the stream, avoid ads with a sub, all that good stuff, okay? But yeah, I don't know. This is funny, man. Anyway, look, she's fucking, look, I wouldn't even pay any attention to this, but she put my name in the title. She's egging me on. She's asking for this. <laughs> she clearly, she clearly wants my response. Also, it's really interesting that talking about women's mental health issues on Twitch is like a really big thing. And I guess that would be the segue for me to bring in like the misogyny nonsense into this conversation wait hang on a minute i, I don't care if you're a man or a woman or anything in between go go full schizo on stream okay go full schizo on stream 
so it's gonna be i was gonna do two like two separate segments but they'll just bleeding to each other so we'll just do that yeah i don't know what's wrong with this space that mm, a this girl space. with short hair makes you people so upset well that's not true i do know <laughs> um i think it's quite pathetic all the people who have been asking me if i'm okay and messaging me and saying that yeah okay right <laughs> i'm not upset i think it's funny i watched that stream because it looked funny but second of all yeah doesn't that tell you something if lots of people are messaging you, like, are you okay? It's probably because you've done something that to most people is going to come across as totally fucking unhinged. Because obviously, just cutting off all of your hair on stream by yourself, in a room by yourself, is seen as a very weird and, and like, incoherent action that most people wouldn't normally do. Hmm that they're concerned because I cut my hair. It's like, dude, I've been planning to cut my hair for like months. This mm. is pathetic. Um, so yeah, I think that's really cringe and really, really sad, especially from like friends of mine in this space that it's All like, friends. you could have oh, just no. asked <laughs> and I would have told you, it's like, no, this was planned. The only thing that wasn't planned is doing it on stream, but you know what? People cut their hair on stream all the time. So the only reason you give a fuck is because I have Wait. long hair. No, 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 that's not true. That's not true. People, so people, it's true that people cut their hair, but it's not true that the context is the same. Most of the time it's getting a haircut and normally you'll get a haircut to make yourself look as good as possible. Like obviously this makes her look way, way, way worse. She looks fucking horrendous, first of all. And secondly, getting your hair cut off to a high degree where you change your look dramatically is often part of some charity thing. Like, for example, it will be like, oh, shave your head for charity. And then the whole point of it is you shave it as like a, you know, as a sort of charity aspect of it's so insane that people are going to pay extra money for you to shave your head, you know. Or alternatively, yeah, if you've generally just got a bold head, if you entered the space with a bold head, and you're like, I'm going to shave my head because I'm bold already. That would be kind of, you know, people would just be used to that, wouldn't they? But going from like one look to another dramatically without any, just seemingly out of nowhere, you know, is obviously going to going to make people freak out. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, this video is great. Hair, or I had dreads and then I took them off and now my hair is short and it's like upsetting you, which is like, it's, it's Gucci, but also like cringe. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm not so really going upset, it's back funny. to the mental health conversation. Uh, I just think it's really, really uh, pathetic. And I think it's super ableist. Now, yeah, I don't believe in relegating people who are mentally ill or have mental disorders from space. If Me any neither. Guys, get the most mentally ill freaks doing the most insane shit you could imagine and put them on the front page reel of Twitch. Do that. I'd be well up for that. Make me easy to find the content for me. Thing, if you think a person is genuinely mentally unwell, you would probably want to treat them with more care and respect instead of just like trying Why? to bully them off his face. Like that's pretty disgusting. Wait, what? <laughs> Why? No, no. Listen, if you're mentally ill and you decide to start streaming, that's free reign as far as I'm concerned. Um. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to make this, like, super short video. Uh, I'll probably elaborate on this a lot more on streams or whatever. But, yeah, just wanted to say that. So, uh, fuck you guys. Uh, Welcome if anyone else to Chud Nation. asks me if An I'm okay, um, I'm great. Thank you for the gift Thank design. you. Fuck off. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Damn. What do you reckon, guys? I'll be honest with you. I was a bit concerned that she was having a mentally ill schizo meltdown. But after watching that video, I can see now that she's actually totally fine. So, you know. Whew, thank God for that. I was worried for a second there. God, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to chase a mentally ill woman off the platform. That's the last thing I'd want to do. Keep the content coming as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, speaking of mentally ill people, let's get Smith on in a sec. Okay. And we'll see what happens.
Oh shit, I forgot to invite him. <laughs>